Hey, look, there's lots of websites. Um, we're in conversation here. There are lots of websites that also will answer your questions about communism or uh, white Aryan philosophy or, you know, so what? That, that does not replace making an argument. If you're frustrated to make these arguments, then you lack resolve. I mean, resolve is the will to resolve something that you think has already been solved. This is the way, um, this is the way of all intellectual progress. I mean, people knew slavery was wrong thousands of years before it was ever made illegal or forced into the closet. Um, I have a couple problems with market anarchy, and I think there's probably actually a dozen examples, but I can say one is, no, I've not received a good answer as to who arrests police, that a private police force that is breaking the law. It seems to me only a larger police force. So, so by all means, if one of these websites uh, with these in intellectually expert arguments uh, addresses how corrupt police members um, are arrested, then uh, who, who, erupt, who, who arrests the bad behavior of a corrupt police force, then by all means, you know, send me the uh, link or, or, or print an excerpt or something, because I'd like to know that, if the largest police force is the corrupt one. And that, uh, that sounds like anarchy in the bad sense, where you have armed groups of people struggling. For, to find out who is more powerful, I prefer the most powerful organization to be under the control of a democratic system, a democratically controlled commons and infrastructure. But really a, a deeper thing I wish you guys could answer is the fact that markets are regulated entities. It's like you can't have, it's like saying you want to play a game, but you don't want rules. You know, which game are you going to play? I mean, a game is defined by the rules. When I play a game with a young person who wants to break the rules, I usually tell them, listen, there, there is no game. We could just sit here and interact with no rules, and that might be called a conversation or something. If you want to play the game, then there's rules, because that's where the game comes from. Without the rules, the game doesn't have an existence. It's the same thing uh, with an economy. Somebody has to create money Okay, same thing with the market. Somebody has to at least offer a place to, for everybody to meet and trade, and then there has to be some rules about the trade. There will be hours of operation, or, or as I said, if nothing else, there will be this location of the market where the trading takes place. Now, if barter is not sufficient, which basically for human economy, barter is not sufficient, then you'll have to have, as I say, somebody create a currency and so on. These are just the same as creating rules for a board game so that the board game can be played. We create economic rules so the game of the economy can be played. It's a very important you know, game in that you know, we use it to survive, but it's still based on rules. And so for a market to exist requires some form of rules, a.k.a. regulation, to exist in the first place. So if you want to say you are for a free market, you still have to define them. You can't say, oh, that means no rules in the market. Um, because, of course, there are rules. You know, there's property rights, uh, respect for property rights. There's all sorts of things that have to go into a market. And so for you guys to think that you can have those things just for free without engineering them and saying specifically how they will fit together is not reasonable. That's not reasonable for you to tell us this. Now, if they are out there on some websites, you have to understand, I have spent a lot of time. I've been on mailing lists with you know, people that, you know, say taxes are voluntary and all sorts of, uh, liber you know, uh, anti-tax libertarianism sort of anarcho-capitalist types of, of libertarians and I've not find what, found what they write to be convincing but I'm still here listening to you waiting for a convincing uh, explanation and or some understanding on what is motivating you guys to think this way um, so why isn't that good enough you want me just to go read other websites I've read the websites not every one but I haven't seen anything compelling. So you should make an excerpt to answer these questions. If they're so already answered, then all you need to do is go to the fact of one of these websites and put the answer up again. Um, 
when you point me to these websites, people that have pointed me to these websites, I read them and see the same problems, the same idea that, okay, there's no answer as to how one police can arrest another corrupt police, except if they're lucky enough to have more guns and with a certain amount of bloodshed and basically with a civil war between private police. I've seen no answer to that in these websites that is acceptable to me. Is that difficult to understand? I, I, I don't get it. Um, and I think everybody needs to respect certain basic human rights, as do you. You believe in property rights, for example. So you need an organization that is going to insist that people have non-aggression and respect property rights, right? So what organization is that? It can't just be a sense of right and wrong that's out there, because people like to dominate other people. I'm sorry, I don't think it always has to be that way, but that's the way that it has been so far in human history. History of a, it shows a tendency of humans to actually enjoy dominating other people. So it's not just a matter of their best interest in, in, in a profitable business, it might be their best interest in how best to control other people. And there are means to do that besides the government. And um, so, you know, I think you do have quite a bit to, to answer for in your system. How is it going to be engineered? And um, the whole idea that, well, this has already been answered, you know, that's part of the arrogant and condescending part of, of that you're accused of. Every, every philosophy could claim, well, oh, these answers have always been given if, if it's a school of philosophy. In my case, no, because I have my own philosophy. Still, each idea in my philosophy does have counterparts elsewhere, people that have, think they've proved it or demonstrated its undeniability. I don't present them that way, and I'll never send you to an authority insisting you should have believed this answer. If you're in conversation with me, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Um, so anyway, cheers.